Welcome artists and art fans of all ages. Today, we're going to explore pointillism. First, we'll find out a bit more about pointillism and look at some art together. Then I'll show you a fun way to create pointillist art that you can do at home. I'm Jessie Wozniak, Curator of Education at Artist Naples, home of the Baker Museum and the Naples Philharmonic. Check out our website to find out about all of our programs, exhibitions, and collections. And now let's get started. Have you ever heard of pointillism? You may have seen pointillist paintings before and not known that there's a name for that style of art. Pointillism is a technique of painting where small, distinct dots of color are used to create an image. When viewed from a distance, these paintings appear to be blended color, but when you look closely, you can see each dot or point of color separately. George Seurat and Paul Signac developed the technique in 1886, branching off the Impressionist movement. They wanted to create art based on the science of optics and color. Painting in this style was very particular. Every color was carefully selected and each dot was painted in a specific place. It took a very long time for these artists to create a painting. Some paintings took as long as two years. Let's check out an example of a pointillist painting and you'll see what this technique is all about. We're going to start by looking at the painting as closely as we can and describe what we see. What colors can you see in this detail of the painting? I see lots of different colors. Green, blue, violet, golden browns, pink, and white. Do you recognize any objects? Can you guess what this painting might be? How about if we move a little further away and see what happens? Can you still see the dots of color? They're starting to blend together a bit as we move back. Let's move back again. Now the dots are starting to form objects. What objects do you see in the painting? Can you still see the dots that we first looked at? Now let's look at the whole painting. Can you find the little dog we were looking at before? I'll give you a hint. It's near the big tree trunk in the middle of the painting. This painting is very large and it is all painted using small dots. When you see the painting from a distance, the small dots form people, animals, trees, and other objects. What other interesting details can you find in the painting? The longer you look, the more you'll see. Now it's our turn to try pointillism. You'll need a piece of paper, a pencil to sketch out your ideas, paint, acrylic or temper is fine, a paper plate to use as a paint palette, and cotton swabs. Or you can use just the back of your pencil or a paintbrush. I'm starting with a quick drawing of the scene I want to paint. You can draw a picture of anything you want, but it's best not to have too many small details. The next step is filling it in with lots of different colored dots. I'm starting with the largest areas first and waiting to add the more detailed items later. Using a cotton swab dipped in the yellow paint, I'm going to fill in the spaces for the grass and hills with dots. Lots and lots of dots. If you're filling in a big area, you may want to use three cotton swabs held together. Next, I'm adding some green dots, then some blue dots. Try making some areas lighter by adding more yellow dots and other areas can be darker with more blue dots. Next, I'm going to paint the sky. I'm using light and dark blue paint and maybe even some other colors too. To finish the pointillist painting, I'm going to paint the tree. First the trunk and branches and then the leaves. Once your whole paper is filled with dots, your pointillist masterpiece is complete. I hope you enjoyed exploring pointillism art with me. Be sure to check out artistnaples.org for more learning opportunities. Thanks for watching and see you next time.